Alright, I'm going to show you something with the Bauer shop vac today. Let me put this coffee away. Now, Bauer shop vacs, in my opinion, are just as good as any other name brand. I'm going to empty out my hot tub today. I'm going to winterize it. I usually uh, winterize it in September. Now, I got the smaller shop vac. And then, like I said, it's just as good as any other name brand. Now, what I got to do with the shop vac today, I got to suck out the water that's left over after I drained it. And then I got to break the couplings down here. And then I got to put it on reverse and blow out whatever water is left in the jets. Here's the trick with the smaller shop vac. When you're going to be sucking out water, you have to remove the filter. The filter gets clogged up and then you start shooting water out the top where the exhaust is and that's going to give you a false reading thinking that the tank is full when it's not so if you're going to be sucking out water in the smaller the smaller version of the shop vac remove the filter and you'll get more water inside the base so you just basically want to expose that like that See, the filter goes over just like that but this gets saturated and then it gives a false reading here and it starts spitting out then when you open it up you're only like a quarter full so if you're going to be sucking out water with this model remove the filter that's just my opinion and it works all right let me start sucking out whatever water's left in the basin Let's see how much water we could get in the chop vac before I gotta dump it. There we go. All right, you see it. So we're three quarters full. All right, so always remember, if you're going to use these Bauer, the, the Bauer shop vac to uh, suck out water, take out the filter, and you'll get in as much water as you can. And then you'll have to dump it. Now, what will happen is, you'll hear a funny sound, like you just did, like it's full, and that's going to be your uh, indicator that the tank is full, because this is sitting in the water. See that? Now, I used to have a rigid years ago, and it had an indicator up here, that was orange and green and it would change color when the when the tub was filled all right let me dump this and we'll keep on sucking out the basin all right i just dumped it again let's keep on going it would help if i was on good all right i'm on good now all right so you see if the top ain't on good you're not going to suck Duh. All right, here we go. All right, that looks good. That looks real good. All right, see the sound that it just made? That means we're full. Makes like a high-pitched sound from the vacuum. Let's open it up. All right, you see, we're full again. Now, I wouldn't be able to get this high right here with the water level. I wouldn't be able to fill this up that much if I had this filter on. Because the filter, like I told you, gets saturated and it just screws up all around the motor. And then to dump it, it would be nice if they made a plug on the bottom 
But uh, this model, you just gotta dump it like so. Just dump it. And we'll put the lid on, and then we'll start again. Almost finished. Just make sure that the top's all good. All right. Let me keep on going. We'll go to the next step. All right. The uh, the basin's all clean. All the water's out. So uh, just keep that in mind. What I showed you in the video with this particular uh, brand, Bauer Shop Vac. All right. We're going to do the bottom next. Their pipe wrenches aren't that bad. Aluminum pipe wrench. Uh, this is a 14. So you already see I loosened these up. The knuckles. Right, we got one here. We got one here. Now I got a lot of rigid and Lennox uh, aluminum pipe wrenches. But uh, Harbor Freight aluminum pipe wrenches, they aren't bad. Never had a problem with them. All right, I got the the unions off. So my uh, my pump for the hot tubs disassembled. So now what I can do, I can uh, take the shop vac and I put it on exhaust, or if you want to call blow the top up here. So what I'm going to do is uh, hook this up, pull this over, basically like that. And then I'm going to put it underneath, and then if the jets up here. It's going to blow out whatever excess water is laying in the jets. Let me get this set up so I can show you. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put this right under there like that. And then you, you should see it blowing out. I'm working by myself, as usual, so it's a little, a little difficult. All right, let's go. Up. Let me pull this down, just like so. <laughs> All right, so the top jet's blown out. Now we'll blow out the pump itself. Let's see if I can get this in there. All right, you've seen it. It was blowing out the jets real good. Yeah, the reason I have to do that is so no water stays in the jets and then freezes over the winter. Let me see if I could get this bottom one right here. Everything's just a little tight. Let me see if I could pull this out and hook that one up. All right, we did the top one. And I got my foot on the bottom inlet to the jets. Let's see. blown out pretty good. Alright, it basically did it with that one shot time, the way it was blowing. It's pretty good, it's got some power. This shop vac does have some power. Alright, let me uh, reverse this. Hook it up on suction and then get whatever leftover water blew into the basin. And we'll suck that out.
sorry, my hot tub's winterized. The basin's uh, water free. And I was able to blow out the jets. You've seen it firsthand. So, uh, all right, look, if you want to make an investment, not spend a lot of money, pick up this uh, Bauer Shop Vac. Also, for around the house, just pick yourself up a couple uh, aluminum pipe wrenches as well. All right, I'm all done with this, so uh, I got to put the door back on. This way it's all covered up for the winter. And uh, if you want something nice for around your house for projects, pick up the, uh, the Bauer cordless drill. All right. It's good to uh, put everything back together. But uh, let me just put this back on. Do yourself a favor, make the investment, it's worth it. Let's go over there, pick yourself up that shop vac. I've had this for about two years now, it's well worth the money. Alright, take it easy. See you later. Dilly dilly.